what I felt, I did not want anybody else to feel. I, I did not want any other person, black or white, to feel like I did. Jerry Isham says he's been in real estate for 30 years, but what happened to him as he was showing a house in Covedale will haunt him for a long time. This body cam video shows police responding to this 911 call. The house is for sale, but it's not an open house today. Mm -hmm. And I've just seen two male black subjects force the front door open. In fact, Isham was showing the home to a friend and client, Anthony Edwards. All I see is the officer, the female, with the gun in her hand, on the finger, on the trigger. The two men were handcuffed, but eventually released. Isham says his nine-year-old son was in the car and had to witness this incident. Even today we talked, I, I really got to spend some more time with him because um, he said that is just too much happening today. I can't, I really don't understand. The city manager agreed some of the police actions were unwarranted, writing, the city regrets this extremely unfortunate and unnecessary situation. Mr. Isham and Mr. Edwards did nothing wrong. The city will pay Isham and Edwards $151,000 and offer voluntary training with police and the Board of Realtors. Money was no, no. My, my, my intent in this whole scenario was to uh, make the public aware and I, I wanted to instill some training. Now, I should point out the specifics around the training still being worked out. And the FOP president, Dan Hills, we talked to him this week, and he said he's standing by his officers. He says their response was reasonable. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.